<laughs> well, we are going to do a little creative cooking today with figs. You know, they're not just for mm -hmm. snacking. You could use them in spicy fig and tomato salsa or California fig flatbread, chocolate-covered figs with sea salt. I'm getting so hungry. Just to name a few. <laughs> James Beard, award-winning <laughs> chef Robert Del Grande, joins us live from a fig orchard in Madera, California. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I'm here in California in a gorgeous fig orchard. Oh, I know. Where they it, it make looks the, like grow a, the best figs in the world. Yeah, it looks like a great place to be. It is. Let's talk a little bit about some of the recipes because I know a lot of us just grab figs right out of the bag to snack on. Sure. Oh no. I mean, they're they're the perfect snack, obviously. But you can cook them a whole bunch of different ways. And I got a couple of techniques for you with great California figs and just a kitchen knife. If you one of them is just to start by cutting the bottom off so they stand up. And then you just put a little salt and pepper and roast those in the oven till they're nice and tender. And you have a great side dish for like any meal. Very, very delicious. Or if you like, you can cut them in half, one of my favorites, and you get a little kind of platform for flavor where you can put, you know, a little prosciutto or goat cheese and you have an instant appetizer that's just so tasty and more savory. Or, you know, if you like, and just with a kitchen knife, you just keep going and make little slices. And now you have a nice little topping for all sorts of stuff. We talked about flatbread. Possibly pizza with figs on the top. And if you love pizza, you add California figs, it's going to get even better. Or, still with just a knife, very simple, you can cut them in a little bit of dice, fairly nice and easy. From there, like the spicy tomato salsa, you can add to that to give that little mysterious flavor that's so wonderful. I love an arugula salad. You toss them in, the peppery arugula with the figs, really, really great. Uh, and then one last technique, can I show you a fun one, really fun, different? Uh, I like to take a nice ripe fig and just smash it until it turns really, really creamy, like a little fig puree, fresh, all the flavor there. You could stir that into, I love it, in buttermilk dressing for a salad for like an exotic fruity flavor. Or if you're a barbecue nut, stir it into your favorite barbecue sauce for that little elevated fruit flavor. You can base it on ribs. It can be done with fresh figs or even California dry figs. Works in all the recipe. All of them just really tasty. I'm going to admit I have never cooked with a fig. Do we need to peel it, cut anything off of it? And once we've cut it, how do we store it? No, just clip the stem off when you want to cook with them. I usually leave them on the kitchen counter so I can eat them all day long. I like them in the refrigerator too with an icing and kind of coal. So there's no real trick to it. They're very easy to keep. And the dry ones, just keep them in your cupboard. They'll, they'll last for the whole year. Always ready to eat. Hmm. All right, I feel like And we if should... you want, you know, something really fun. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, if you like something fun, dessert, how simple, either a dried fig or a fresh California fig, just dip it in chocolate, couldn't be any better. I feel like we should call you Dr. Fig, because <laughs> I was reading your bio, you have a PhD in biochemistry. How did you move into becoming a chef? I was hungry. I think <laughs> that was it. No, and I love food. I love food. And when I got, every time I have something delicious, you know, I just, I got more attracted to it, but. Uh, like figs. All right. California. You know, the are, they're, yeah. CaliforniaFigs.com. Thank you so much for joining us, Chef. Thank you very much.